Hello there, and welcome back to the channel. Or if you're new here, then welcome to the channel. Stick around and enjoy the tutorial. Today's video is going to be a quick tutorial. Probably won't take long to cover this topic at all, but it's something that I thought would be pretty helpful for you guys out there uh, because it's been pretty helpful for me to have some of this information as well. So what we're gonna be covering today is how to do voiceovers inside of Adobe Premiere. I think this is going to be something that is really big on YouTube in 2022. Uh, it's just a personal prediction of mine, but I've seen a lot of creators using it. And it, it's a really cool way to add sort of a uh, emotional element to your videos is to play some B-roll and then put some voiceover behind it. Now you can do this in a more comedic way, but I think it, it lends itself really nicely to the more serious kind of uh, dramatic storytelling. You may have even seen that I used it in a couple of my videos recently and part of that was because I had seen other creators using this style of voiceover again. I've actually done it in the past in some of my drone videos and I really really liked how it turned out though it didn't get a lot of popularity. Uh, I still personally really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really nice artistic style. So anyway that's enough about that. Let's uh, go ahead and dive into Premiere. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and open up Premiere and create a new project file to start things off. All right, next you're gonna to wanna to add in some footage. Generally, I find that it can be really nice to put a voiceover over some nice B-roll shots, especially like nice landscapes, things like that. We're gonna go ahead and use this drone footage that I shot down in Branson recently. All right, so once you have the footage on your timeline, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have an extra audio track down here. If you don't have one, you can right click in this area here, click add tracks, and then choose how many video or audio tracks you wanna add. All right, now once you've got that track added there, we've actually got three, we don't need that many. Uh, but once you've got that extra track added there, how you're gonna do the voiceover is by clicking this little microphone right here. Now when I click that, it's going to give a three, two, one countdown, and now we're recording voiceover. Look at this beautiful shot of the showboat Branson Bell, located in Branson, Missouri. And then when you're done, you can actually just click right here. And that's gonna load in your audio file right there. Now just keep in mind that the audio is going to be recorded from whatever your computer recognizes as the default input. So you may need to check that before you record your audio. I recommend using something like this USB microphone here or an XLR setup with a USB interface. And to double check that, you can actually right click on the microphone here and click voice over record settings. And this will show you what your input is. It's set right now to system default USB microphone. It also gives you options right here for pre-roll and post-roll. You can change how long you want your pre-roll to be or how long you want your post-roll to be as well as see the level that you're receiving on the microphone as you speak. Now, one last tip. By default, Premiere is going to have this audio track as it's recording playback through your headphones. That's for if you have some sort of producer in the studio who wants to hear the audio as you're recording. However, if you're like me and you can't stand to hear your own voice being played back as you're recording, uh, there are two options. You can either not wear headphones um, or make sure that your speakers are off as well, or you can come up here to edit, preferences, audio, and then right here, this little option right here, mute input during timeline recording. That's gonna go ahead and mute the microphone as you're recording. Alrighty guys, so that is how you record voiceover for your videos inside of Adobe Premiere. If there are any questions, something that I didn't cover in this video, uh, feel free to leave me a comment down below and I will be sure to answer those as quickly as I can. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll uh, drop this video a like if it was useful to you. And if you're not subscribed already, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next one.